NDDC has been there for over for about 20 years, and nothing of, of, of good importance has been impacted the communities. So then why do we keep it for there? Scrap it and form OS Communities Development Commission. Where OS communities will come in. And that's the basis. Then putting this one, putting that one here and there, you don't do well. But well, so let our people, whom we trust, not government, their allies, that they trust that they can be siphoning funds. But allow us our points who we know that can do it. Because we know the pastor's house. If you're not doing well, we're wholly responsible for it. We cannot hold them ransom because we did not appoint them. He who the crown it knows how to what punish the person. If he did not appoint, if I did appoint you for a particular project or for to be somewhere, how do I come from somewhere to punish you? If I appoint you, then if you misbehave or you, 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 you underperform, I have the right to withdraw you and punish you for the crime you've committed. The left of the federal government were appointed, but if it is given to us as OSCOM, as a president of OSCOM, with traditional rulers, we appoint Mr. A to perform the duties for you. I mean, he failed. Behold, we know how to skin him out all the funds he has floated. So that is one of the issues we must be able to think of. If things we have suggested go that way, definitely the oil industry will boom. As far as we are concerned, we have made a very fair proposal, um, fair to the host communities, fair to the country, fair to the companies. And we have put this bill in, in, in front of the National Assembly. And they have the competence to look at it as a national assembly and pass it the way they see fit. The issue of the percentage given to those communities for the development is inadequate. In 2009, when this first bill was given to us, it was 10%. And the subsequent one, it has been reduced by 50% to 5%. We ask the question, how? Then, this one again, it will be reduced by another 50% again, to so make 2.5. If gets not taken, if this bill does not pass this time, I assure you, by next, it will reduce another 50%, which is 1.25. We pray and the host community stand in that nothing less we will accept as a partner. Ten percent equity share to be given to host community for us to have a sense of belonging and treat the assets as our own, not their own, which will do good to Nigerian nation and oil industry. Because the oil companies operate in our land, in our territory, in our house. If you go to Niger Delta, these pipes are crisscrossing from every household to another. It's just the grace of God we are even surviving. 10% uh, of profit is different from 10% of the OPEX. Before now, you had a provision of 10% of profit. And profit means that if I don't declare it, you don't have anything. I can decide to say 100% of profit, and then I don't declare profit. So you don't get anything. But in this case, it's 2.5% of the OPEX. That is operating cost. So at the end of the year, we look at your operating cost, and of course, uh, uh, take 2.5% of that cost to be to the budget of the next year. The interventions the government has put in place for all the years, government have tried their best in putting a lot of interventions to resolve the oil producing communities. But these funds are not trickling down to the communities. It has been hijacked by one political group or one political party. NDDC is there, Amnesty is there, the TPD derivation is there. Even Yeradua created Ministry of Niger Data Affairs. Are those interventions doing significant to the communities? Still, the communities are in a deplorable form, no development, no lights. You could imagine where 
they are pumping out their billions of dollars. Those communities have no light, no health center, talkless of an hospital. And you allow the place to deteriorate, devastated. And the gas flare issue, another thing that kills our people slowly, they exterminated all the lives in Niger Delta. And the fund, government is collecting it and not remitting to the people to ameliorate the suffering of the people. Even though we say, stop gas flare. So these are the issues we are saying. If this fund have directly given to host community, we know how it happens. Every community knows what to do, not what you will do for us. That is the point. If we need a school, that is a major thing that we need a school, we'll put up a school. No, we need a bridge. If this fund is given to us, put up a bridge by ourselves to connect to this other side of it. If we need hospital, that was its key. We find for it because the fund is coming. We put the, 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 the hospital for ourselves. These funds will do well for communities. But if in the hands of the politicians, they will do, as we all read, in the issue of Niger Delta Ministry, I mean, and uh, NDDC, you will read in it. <laughs> they milk it and they pump into people that they want to service. And they have been reaching themselves. Why the communities are dying slowly in abject poverty.